What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today doing another career re-simulation. This one is of Bo Jackson. Could have been one of the best players in NFL history based on his athletic profile and production over his short career in the NFL alone. However, injuries really, really held him back. But we've recreated Bo Jackson and thrown him into the NFL draft in 2021. This is if his career was redone second chance no injuries how good could bo jackson have really been he was really really good his first couple years in the nfl i mean this guy was a 1990 pro bowler back when the pro bowl meant a little more than it uh, does today clearly but bo jackson in 1990 bo jackson in 1989 rushed for 950 yards four tds but we have to we also have to look at the fact that he only started nine games in 1990 is credited with starting zero games of course i believe marcus allen was taking away snaps rushed for about 700 yards five tds averaging 70 yards per game this guy was a big yards per game guy despite not playing in a ton of games injuries just really held him back but when you look at the long every year he led the league three times in his four years 91 yard rush in 87 92 yard rush in 1989 and 88 yard rush in 1990 he was a home run waiting to happen. And speaking of which, also, if you know anything about Bo Jackson, you know, he's a two-sport athlete, played baseball as well, was not an amazing baseball player, was pretty good, but it's incredibly difficult to be a two-sport athlete and play both sports simultaneously, and he did that. I believe he was a one-time All-Star. I know he was a one-time All-Star. And uh, he was an incredible athlete, arguably the best athlete of all time. When you talk about size, strength, speed, not sure there's ever been somebody quite like Bo. So we're going to simulate to the draft, see what team drafts him, and then switch over and follow the career of arguably the greatest athlete of all time. NFL draft time. Bo Jackson is thrown in there. Top 10 in the draft. Of course, he went at number one overall to the Bucks back in 1986. 1986? 1986. Round one, pick one. But... He wouldn't play for the Bucks. He told them, he's like, I'm not going to play for you. And then, of course, he ended up on the Raiders. And the way he ended up on the Raiders was after turning down the Bucks 7.6 million five-year contract, he ended up going to play baseball for the Royals three-year contract. The Bucks forfeited his right before the 87 draft, and he chose to sleep in rather than attend the 87 NFL draft. And he found out he was selected in the seventh round number 183 overall by the LA Raiders so he said he was going to focus on baseball and wouldn't sign but then he decided that yeah, yeah, I am going to sign because uh Raiders owner Al Davis was a fan of him and big uh fan of him playing both baseball and football at the same time so that's how he ended up on the Raiders but the Raiders might not end up getting him in this instance and even if they do they have Josh Jacobs how much is Bo Jackson really going to play as I will simulate until a team chooses him. What team is Bo Jackson going to go to? Zach Wilson to the Giants. Patrick Sertan to the Panthers. Cowboys could take Bo Jackson. That'd be dangerous. 49ers go Quiddy Pay. Dolphins go Christian Darrisaw. When is Bo Jackson going to go? And finally, we have our answer. Going from Auburn, Alabama, eastward to Atlanta, Georgia to play for the Atlanta Falcons. So we're going to transition over and choose the Falcons I get a lot of questions about how I change teams I guess I'll show you in a second if you didn't know you go to user management retire and then all you have to do is create a new character and choose the team that you want so of course we're going to choose the Falcons because we want to play with Bo Jackson who will be the starting running back here and we'll see how great he ends up being so he just is easily the starter right now 79 overall fits the scheme but he's got 97 speed, 88 break take, a tackle, 96 acceleration. Like, he's credited with running, like, 419. That didn't happen. No one's running 419. It just isn't a thing. Look, with a hand timer, sure, anything's possible. But there's no way Bo Jackson ran 419. But he also was amazingly fast. So I think 97 speed is fair. I don't know what's going on with the elbow pad on his right side. But that is, like, really weird looking. But that does look like Bo Jackson. Of course, I talked to Equipment Guru, who 
uh, runs all the Madden equipment and a lot of the ratings, and he gave me the setup on Bo Jackson. And I think this does look pretty legit. He looks really good as a Falcon. Colors look nice. Everything flows, except for that damn left elbow. Or it's actually the right elbow. It just changes to orange. Why is that doing that? Yeah, it's always going to be orange. So I guess we'll uh, we'll change it. We'll go elbow elbow brace team color. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. So it doesn't look ideal, but I mean, it's it's pretty good. Of course, Bo is kind of unbelievable as an athlete. So we had to represent that. Didn't want to make him too overpowered out the gate. But we will simulate season one and see how Bo Jackson performs as a member of the Falcons. Didn't make the playoffs in year one, but it isn't about that. It's about how productive Bo Jackson was. And it seems like it was a major passing offense. Bo still did rush for over four yards per carry. He's got superstar dev, four touchdowns, 990 yards as a rookie, which if I'm not mistaken, would be the most rushing yards he ever had in a career season. Phrase that weirdly, but also he's played in a lot more games. 61.9 rushing yards per game which would have been fourth in his career because in his four seasons he only did uh under that one time at 58 flat so i think he probably put up a pretty good fight for nfc rookie of the year but certainly not for offensive player of the year and he is at third for offensive rookie of the year nothing crazy for year one if you guys are new here please hit the subscribe button helps me out a lot just hit 250,000, so of course looking forward we're aiming for 300k next absolutely insane milestone i appreciate you guys and i know you know that but of course it is it's good to reassure you and realize like i do actually really appreciate you guys you make me be able to do this for a living which is pretty incredible to me but going into season number two for bo jackson he's an 83 overall matt ryan is gone kyle trask is the new starting quarterback for the atlanta falcons Season 2 is not a playoff team. 4 and 12. Jesus. The Falcons need to get some better players on this team as Bo Jackson needs more carries. 893 yards, 6 TDs, average 4.4 per carry. Needs to boost that up. Maybe a playbook uh, playbook change to get him a little bit more carries would be worthwhile cuz he's missing about 50. That could really really help out. So maybe the Raiders. Maybe he's a uh, get a lot of carries josh jacobs with 258 start of 2023 did the falcons finally put some pieces on this team brought in anthony miller and zach Ertz. bo jackson still a superstar dev hasn't gone up to superstar x factor yet but i think it could happen 98 speed is pretty ridiculous spin and juke move is coming along as far as abilities let's give him some other things recuperation maybe and let's also give him, I don't know, steerable, whatever, doesn't really matter. We'll give him reach for it. I mean, we will jump in probably at some point, so uh, maybe it will matter. But for now, that's what Bo Jackson is looking like. We'll simulate to the playoffs and see how he does in year three. Did not make the playoffs in 2023. Eight and eight, did a little bit better. Changed offenses to maybe fit Bo Jackson a little bit better. And he still can't quite get over 1,000 yards. A lot of carries to Tremaine Graham. They drafted a running back. Seems like pretty high. But Bo Jackson, 87 overall. He had a pretty good year. Just still can't quite get over that 1,000-yard mark. As a receiver, only 8 catches for 105 yards and a TD. See, he wouldn't have... Uh, made any offensive player of the year ranking probably hasn't made the pro bowl yet we need bo jackson to get just more touches because the yards per carry is there it's creeping up every year as well we just need more attempts more attempts more yards more touchdowns i gotta make sure he's coming in in the goal line uh, sets and on third downs bo jackson got to be playing every single snap We'll check out the salaries because, of course, it's 2024. Bo Jackson is in the final year of his rookie deal. So he's going to need to sign an extension if he's going to stay in Atlanta. Or they could use their first year or fifth year option to bring him back for one more year, I should say. He's an 87 overall, 26 years old. 
Very, very good player. You know, he's inching toward a 90. I mean, he's our third down and power back. He's just got to get more touches. That's all it comes down to. No playoffs again in 2024. 8-8 eight and eight again. Falcons not exactly building a god squad here. Kyle Trask isn't playing that badly. And Bo Jackson just can't get 1,000 yards. <laughs> they won't let him. 972 yards, 8 touchdowns. The touchdown's going up, thankfully. But he's just... I don't know how he's not getting over 1,000 yards. I just don't... I don't know how. He's up to an 89 overall. Speed and acceleration is crazy. He just can't quite get there yet. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was his long of 10? I mean, that should tell you simulation is so stupid. The longest rush of the season on 220 attempts was 10 yards. 8 for Graham, 7 for Trask. Simulation is trash. It's so bad. We're not going to be an offensive player of the year at all. Trask at 4, but until Bo Jackson gets like... 300 more yards in a season he's not going to be in the conversation for any type of award did Bo sign a big contract extension yes three years 20 mil and Bo Jackson sticks in Atlanta he's so close to being amazing it really just is getting over that 90 overall threshold and he should be destroying so we'll see, we'll see what happens in 2025 do I have hopes for making the playoffs? Of course not. Of course not. Finally made the playoffs. I barely even believe it. Won the division, no less. Sixth best offense, but we only had 26 passing touchdowns from Trask. Did they all go to Bo? No, they went to Tremaine Graham. But Bo Jackson with the best year of his career by a mile. 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns. How in the world Tremaine Graham had 15 touchdowns? I'll never know. He can't be the goal line back. Bo Jackson upped his average, though, to 76 yards per game. If we see his stats over his five-year career now, I mean, without question, this is his best year. Yards per carry, the highest by about a yard. Ties his all-time record for TDs, you know, his individual record. And also, most notably, goes over 1,000 yards for the first time. And even after back-to-back -back years of his longest run being 10 yards, guess what? He upped it to 75, just like he had in his second year. So this was by far Bo's best year. Could be a Pro Bowl waiting for him. We'll have to see. Can we beat the Lions? I don't want to jump in just yet, but I do want to see what Bo Jackson is like to play with. And maybe we'll do that in the divisional. Going up against football team, we're at least going to try it out, see what Bo's all about. All right, let's jump in. There's Bo Jackson in the backfield. Kind of a weird setup, and oh my goodness, does he feel fast, but they instantly shed. So there's not really anywhere for Bo to go. Wearing number 33 is kind of weird. It might look to change that. Tried to cut it back. I'm going for home runs rather than just like four or five yard gains, and that's my mistake so far. But we'll see what Bo could do as a receiver, maybe. It's third and eight, and he's actually wide open. It's not a great throw from Kyle Trask, but look at Bo Jackson. Oh man, I thought that could have been big. Let's follow the blocks this time. That didn't work. <laughs> Three rushes, two yards for Bo Jackson. The all Madden CPU defense has been unforgiving thus far. They've been uh, pretty good at stopping the run, and they're forcing me through holes. Third and five. I mean, this is wide open. Kyle Trask misses the mark entirely. I want to force it to Bo, I do. But at the same time, like, I want to move the ball and give us other opportunities to be effective. So we can't just only throw it to Bo, run it to Bo, 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 Bo. But they shed it so quickly. Bo Jackson breaking tackles, though. It's only averaging three yards per carry. This is not great. There we go. Hit the hole. Bo Jackson. We've got to use that power as well as that speed. Maybe get him involved in the passing game. I mean, he has a lot of speed there. Almost came back to the ball, but we had to throw out of the sack animation. It's not good. We are struggling to get it going right now. And it isn't on Bo. It's on the offensive line, if anything. And they get in our way on that occasion. Third and four. We're rolling out. Bo Jackson has beaten him down the field, and he lost it. 
He had a step on Kendall Fuller and immediately it went away. Fourth and four we go for these. Let's go with a halfback toss here. Just follow the blocks. Oh, we have him. There's Bo Jackson. Go through him. Oh, the truck just <laughs> totally fakes out the safety. Yikes. Dude, look at that instant shed. But Bo goes right through it instantly. Just as quickly as the block was shed, Bo Jackson just ran right through him. But I think Toss is going to be our best friend now that we found this play. Just follow the blockers. Use the speed. Good lord. Pick somebody up. I'll try running it close side. I mean... <laughs> the third and seven run was a bold call. And it certainly did not pay off. I don't know what's happening. There were just so many... So many plays going back and forth. I think it was a turnover. Pick six maybe. Spin outside with Bo Jackson. Go back inside. See, we're doing the most to get five yards. The effort's completely there, but it's tough to break off long runs in this game. You're entirely dependent on blockers, which is, you know, that's real life for the most part. The spin back. Look at the moves. Bo Jackson's off to the races. Spun back away from the blocking, and Bo Jackson's got a prototypical classic. Trademark, patent pending. Bo Jackson, long breakaway touchdown. Check out this. Let's see it from the start. It was a quick pitch to the left side. Bo Jackson took it, spun back away from the blocking setup, and he was off to the races. Reached 21 miles per hour. He's got nothing on Daniel Jones, but huge, huge TD. Bo knows. Apparently he got up to 22.6 miles per hour. Excuse me. It showed 21, but we couldn't see that. Third and one. Oh my goodness, they shed so quickly. <laughs> I'm not even on R2, man. They just, they shed so quickly. They gave us the first down, though. That was questionable. Oh, there we go, Bo. Give me a block up the middle. The center couldn't do anything, but Bo Jackson's breaking tackles. He is unstoppable right now. Trask to Bo as a receiver. Nice catch down to the 12. Oh, this is starting to become fun. Can I get crazy here? Bo Jackson as a receiver. Oh, that's arcade boat for you. Bo Jackson, go up and get it. Rode up the back of the DB, snagged it. That is unfair. I mean, great throw from Trask. Beautiful throw. DB never even looked to play the football. Bo Jackson stuck out of hand, grabbed it. That was beautiful. Unfair. One minute to go. Second and two. Let's score before the half. Bo Jackson out as a receiver. Of course he's going to get the football. Jukes back. Gets a good little gain in there. Quick throw. Bo Jackson. We just go through him on the sideline. <laughs> he wrapped up, but he paid the price. I guess this is where recuperation, that ability, comes into effect because Bo Jackson's just not getting tired for the most part, right? He just doesn't get tired. It's our last time out. Probably should have gotten out of bounds there. We're going to try the pitch here. We got such a big lead, it almost doesn't even matter. There's a nice little juke. Or it was a spin, but couldn't really get a lot of yards. We'll go to the second half. Third and eight. Safety's blitzing. I just need some time. I think Dalton Schultz is going to stay in and block. We're going to take the safety deep with the slot right or slot left receiver. Oh my God. Kyle Trask on the run is awful. Awful. We're jumping in first and goal from the one. I mean, this is a touchdown all day. <laughs> touchdown. Bo Jackson. Was it ever in doubt? He's got to be over 200 here in the playoffs. Third and two. He's shedding instantly, and it just doesn't matter because Bo Jackson's breaking tackles. How does he get that many yards? 30 rushes. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of carries, but 228 yards. I mean, that spin move is just, like, so weird and so good somehow. We spin the opposite way of the way you'd expect, and they just don't know what to do with it. Running stretch. Bo Jackson outside. Big hit. Bo Jackson up the middle. Big hit. Breaks a tackle. He's still breaking tackles. Look at the fight from Bo. 263 yards rushing. Please blitz me. They didn't. They faked it. We're rolling out. Trask is so bad on the run. 
We got Bo Jackson. End zone. Toe tap. Touchdown. Oh, he's unfair. He is unfair. I don't know why they were just set up in like man up three deep almost. I don't know how they're going to try and defend the run in that formation. What a weird play call. They just gave Bo Jackson free yardage. Why would they do that? And now they're blitzing the free safety. And this counter could be so vicious. It's not even funny. Good block. Look at the speed, Bo Jackson. Good block on the outside. And he just got punched in the mouth. Oh my goodness. Entirely expected Bo to go right around him there. But 35 rushes for 286 is his final line. What an unreal game from Bo Jackson. Struggled to get going, but once we got going, Bo Jackson like a freight train, unstoppable. Impossible to stop. Pretty good divisional round of the playoffs for Bo. We'll see if we can beat the Packers in the conference championship. Nope, lost to them. Pretty good season for Bo Jackson in 2025, though. 2026, Bo Jackson should have two years remaining, right? Yep. But he's a 92 overall. Unfortunately, he is 28. Bit of an older rookie in real life. So, of course, we had to match that in-game. But he's looking pretty good. Did not make the playoffs in 2026. Falcons back to their losing ways at 6 and 10. How'd Bo do, though? 1,000 yards, average 4.9 per carry, 9 TDs. So, a little bit of a step back here. He is now 29 years old. He is a 93 overall, though. Rushed for 70 yards on one carry. So you'd like to see that. And he's not going to be in the conversation for Offensive Player of the Year more than likely, as that is Kyle Trask stealing the show. He's not going to be in the conversation for Best Running Back. Might be on the list somewhere. Number nine. But these are unimpressive numbers. 2027, Bo Jackson should have one year remaining on his contract. Still a 93 overall. Is he regressing at all? No. No. Not regressing even a little bit. Where is he for awards? Has never even made the Pro Bowl. How don't they love Bo? Vote him in, fans. Come on. Like, yeah, he plays on a losing team every year, for the most part. But he's Bo Jackson. How is he not exciting? Don't you want to see him in the Pro Bowl? Stupid fans. Okay, Bo Jackson is up to a 95 overall at 29 years old. Superstar development, and he is getting upgraded a little bit. But, of course, this team did make the playoff. I was getting ready to say we didn't. How did Bo Jackson do? 1,100 yards, 6 TDs. That isn't too bad. Did fumble the ball once. Numbers are looking pretty good. Juke and spin move at 90 or above. Agility at 90. Stiff arming's a little low. I'd love for trucking to be higher. Did rush for a 45-yard gain. 21 catches for 252 and a touchdown. He actually should have some votes for running back of the year this time. But definitely not for offensive player of the year. Best running back, though. Bo Jackson sneaks inside the top five. He's a 94 overall without morale. So he's a pretty damn good player. Will we ever see Bo Jackson at 99 as we are out of the playoffs already? Maybe. If he regresses at this season... It's going to be near impossible. But if he doesn't hit regression, then yeah, I think he very well could get up to 99 overall. We are starting 2028. We got Bo Jackson. Is he still on the Falcons? Yes. Four-year deal. He's 30 years old and he hit regression. So there you go. Will Bo ever get up to a 99? Almost certainly not. But he still could have a really good year in 2028. We'll see how it goes. Did not make the playoffs in 2028. 7 and 9. Dak Prescott is a new Atlanta Falcons quarterback. Bo Jackson did have a very good year, though. Over 5 yards per carry, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns, career high for him. 75 yard rush in there. As a receiver, 23 catches for 335 and a TD. So Bo Jackson has been a solid player, but never amazing. If we check out the legacy score, I mean, he's way down the list. Have I passed him? Oh, there he is. Bo Jackson, 668, has won one yearly award. Is that a Pro Bowl? Is that this year? His first Pro Bowl comes at age 31. He does get a speed increase here, though. He goes up to 99 speed at 31 years old. That's how that works. 
So his career has largely been unexceptional so far. He's at 8,500 yards for his career, 4.7 yards per carry, 54 touchdowns. These are really, really solid numbers. I'm not sure they're Hall of Fame numbers. For rushing yards, he's got a while to go to get inside the top 10 all time. For rushing touchdowns, he's got a while to go to get to rushing touchdowns. And I think we can go out on a limb and very confidently say, rather, that he will never reach that milestone. He's never going to hit 100 TDs. He's probably never going to hit 13,000 rushing yards. Maybe on that one. Maybe. But unlikely. He is down to an 89 overall now as a 31-year-old running back. Speed goes down a bit. As you can see, goes down by two. A lot of numbers went down. Awareness was the biggest one, down by four, as that really affects overall. But he really didn't get a whole lot worse. He'll probably end up being a 90 or a 91 overall by the end of the year before regressing again. But we will simulate to the 2029 playoffs. I don't have high expectations for this Falcons team that's only made it to the playoffs, what, two or three times? But you never know. Did not make the playoffs. 5-11. and 11. As Kyle Trask is back to being the starter. Let me just see his stats real quick. He's 32 years old. Check this out. Starting quarterback ever since his second year, starting QBs, and then just randomly <laughs> had two yards passing in a TD and then back to being the starter very odd very odd there from Kyle Trask Bo Jackson over 1100 yards nine touchdowns 32 years old now 89 overall so he didn't get upgraded it's going to be tough for him to get upgraded again it really is as far as awards go I mean, we'll see him probably somewhere for best running back. Number two. So is Bo Jackson going to be a pro bowler here? Certainly possible. Pro bowl roster. NFC is Bo Jackson. Number two running back behind Alvin Kamara. So there we go. Bo makes his second pro bowl. Giants and Chiefs in the Super Bowl. But it's going to be very interesting to see his overall in 2030. Because Bo Jackson could very well be in 86 overall 85 maybe i mean he's getting deeper into his 30s now it's going to be a lot harder than ever to you know really progress as a player and develop and it's he's done he's done developing i'm not going to beat around the bush it's over for Bo. he had a good career not amazing baker's on the team now falcons just can't decide who to have at qb bo jackson lost superstar development and lost a lot of attributes. Minus 24 in total after making his second Pro Bowl. He's 32 years old. He's an 84 overall. Still fast as ever. 97 speed. Very, very fast. But equally as fast as he going down in overall. So, see what 2030 has in store. The Falcons are back in the playoffs in 2030. All it took was Baker Mayfield to come in. How'd Bo do? Over 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Not a bad year. Receiving 24 catches for 293 and 2 TDs. Like He's definitely uh, moving up the marks for running backs. But still under Joe Mixon. Under Cam Akers even. He just has been largely unexceptional. So that's a little bit disappointing. But he's over 10,000 yards. 71 rushing touchdowns. And this is a big moment because if Bo Jackson manages to be on a Super Bowl winning team, as far as legacy points goes, he's going to really, really move up the rankings. But it involves going through a lot of teams. Beat the Eagles in round one. This is probably where it comes to an end. Yep. Cowboys in the divisional knock us off. Bo Jackson goes into his final year under contract as an Atlanta Falcon. And let's see, man. I don't even know. I don't know if he retires after this. I think there's a decent chance. He's going to be down to about an 80 overall. Struggling to remain the starter here in Atlanta. He might be done for. Oh, he got superstar dev again. I thought they replaced him, but no. He's got superstar development. He loses 16 attributes, but he's back. He's back to being a superstar. He's 33 years old. 94 speed. He's still not bad. Like, he'd be a very, very excellent rookie. But he's not a rookie. He's 33. So we'll see what he has in store in 2031. Come on, Bo. Show me what you got. 
final year in the NFL, maybe. Go out with a bang. Falcons back in the playoffs. Maybe really did just take Baker coming in. Hold on, never mind. Kyle Trask gone, Baker gone. Daniel Jones is the new quarterback for this Falcons team, and he was great. Rushing, Bo Jackson, under 1,000 yards, only three touchdowns, but did average 4.3 yards per carry. Bo Jackson might be in the conversation for running back of the year. Certainly won't win it, but should be decently high up there. Number nine, not too bad. Makes it, but we'll see. Can we beat the Lions? Again, it's another tough road, and it's a road that might end here. Divisional week. Dewan, interesting. D apostrophe W A N. See if we can beat the Cowboys. Nope. 27 17. And that might be the end of the road for Bo Jackson. Well, he's still playing. He hasn't retired. But is he going to be in free agency? What are the odds the team signs him here? He's down to a 78 overall at 34 years old. Back down to star dev. He's still got great speed, ball carrier vision. But that might not mean anything. Because I don't know if anyone's going to want him. I think he's probably gone. I saw that overall drop. No! He signed a one-year extension to stay in Atlanta. They're staying loyal. You got to appreciate it. And they're not really trying to actively replace him either. I mean, they're just going to rock with a 34-year-old running back. He's under an 80 overall. I am not sure what 2032 has in store for Bo Jackson. But it probably can't be great. Did not make the playoffs in 2032. 7-9. and nine. As Josh Allen's new quarterback, it is a revolving door of QBs here in Atlanta. And Bo Jackson, still at 4 yards per carry, had 10 touchdowns. 916 yards. Hmm. It's really not too bad. Bo is up to 84 touchdowns for his career. Over 12,000 yards as a rusher. But of course, I think this is probably going to be the end of the road. He definitely had a nice little career in Atlanta the entire time if he retires. As Josh Jacobs chooses to retire. Bronson Recksteiner retires. Rip to a legend. But Bo Jackson still trying to play. Hats off to him. He can't be very good at this point. Well, he's out of Atlanta. I'll tell you that. So where's Bo going to go? I'd be kind of surprised if any team really goes after him. <laughs> this Falcons team's trying to sign Joe Burrow. Josh Allen's in there. They just can't sign any QB to any type of long-term deal. Bo Jackson is... Where? Is he not even in free agency? Hmm. I can't find Bo. He's got to be in here somewhere. He's still listed on the Falcons. He's just down to a 74 overall. I mean, he had to have retired, right? Had to have. Yeah, he had to have retired. Made four Pro Bowls in his career. It's not too bad. Career stats, I wish it would show it. Like, in an actual list. But four Pro Bowls is not a bad career. Like, that's pretty good. Career stats, he's not listed on there. I don't know why it didn't show that he retired, but he definitely retired. So I don't know why he didn't come up in the retired section, but Bo Jackson did retire. And we can't really see his all-time numbers. We checked him out before the season ended. He didn't finish anywhere close to an NFL record list. It just didn't happen. Not close to an all-time leading rusher. Not close to anywhere in rushing touchdowns but that is the career of Bo Jackson do I want to be rude here maybe I'm going to say almost a disappointment like he was in real life in the game and of course not you know for other reasons in real life injuries hurt a lot a lot but in this game in Madden just wasn't ever that amazing was a decent player no doubt four Pro Bowls Bunch of really good seasons, despite not getting enough carries. But was never really spectacular. Was never one of the best running backs in the NFL. And that was his... Well, maybe one of the best. Four Pro Bowls, that's kind of what that is. But was never the best, for sure. But that is going to do it for the video. 
Hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed already. It means the world to me on the path to 300,000. Just saying that is so ridiculous to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It's free. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house. Defense a joke. I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.